Star go? Did she just break down and they abandoned her or what? Oh, watch it, man. Look at that Kansas sunrise on the marsh. Yeah, buddy. Yo! What up, y'all? Welcome back to another one. Check out the old school camo ducks merch. Uh huh. Use code Bob at checkout. Ducks will be linked down below. If you use code Bob, you will save yourself some money and it helps me out too. Let's get going here. Check it out. Oh, there's my visitors. Is that yep. Bobby? Yep. That's me. Hey, I think you'd actually be better off with the other blind. I mean, we're all set up. I, okay. It doesn't matter to me. All right. Yeah, I mean, many, I'm good. How many you got in there? Just me right now. Okay. If well, you think that they're gonna, I mean, I'll hop by myself, or Devin can come with me. I don't care. Uh, well, or we can we can switch them back and forth, whatever is doing best. Yeah. Uh, what you guys out there do to see what happens? Completely up with up to you guys. Right, right out front, right here. Shoot that bird on the right. Shoot him. Shoot him. Get him. Oh. Well, <laughs> whatever's on the marsh now is definitely up and fine. <laughs> oh, get closer, get closer, get closer. Oh. Oh, bro. oh there we go. Gosh dang it. He went down right in the water. Bro. Nope, he's still flying. Right here. Right here, some right here on the coming back. Wait, 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 wait. Get him. Oh no, I clicked. God. Sucker. I, up, man. I really messed up. I had a shell sideways in my gun for safety. Did you get any? Oh, I don't think we got any. Oh, I. I screwed the pooch on that one. I could not see Dad gum. Right here, there, here. This is part of the same flock right here. Oh my god, Bobby, what are you doing? That was beautiful. Yeah, the little right. Oh, there. dude. I couldn't believe it. They're going right to him. Nope. On the left, guys. Oh my gosh. Dude, they came right over your shoulder. I know. Oh. Right, yep, yep. I had a darn shell, I had a darn shell sideways in my gun. Come on. Yeah, did you shoot? I did shoot, but I didn't hit anything. It was weird, man. Oh, they're gonna decoy on them, it looks like. Oh, dad gum it, Bob. Pulled the trigger and she went, uh, nope. <sighs> Son of a gun. Missed opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, Bobby. Come back, come back, come back, come back. Wait for him. Wait for him. Shoot him. Got one. Oh, is he hurt? Mm, maybe. We got one right between the spinners. There we go. The skunk is out of the boat, boys. <laughs> Better load them up, man, they're flying. There we go. That's a dead doornail out there. I ain't shooting with the shit. Yeah, <laughs> it's, me neither. It's right? dark, man. It's hard to it's hard to find them when they're that low but mm. underneath that grass, you know. They're coming right from the back, right around us. The solo flying out there yeah. still. That is beautiful. Man, How many they times you shoot, Dan? Three. He was still rocking out on the right. They're decoying really well. <laughs> so you just keep the old plug in the extension tube, huh? Uh, during duck season, yeah. Do you like the weight of it, or? Uh, you know, I just tricked it out because you know when we right. For but the weight doesn't bother me. Right, kind of balances it out yeah. up front, yeah. and it reduces a lot of that, you know, recoil too. 
I remember when Preston, he ran an extension tube like that and it was out to here. And he had it <laughs> plugged for only two shells, you know. Boy, did it get a lot of attention on the YouTube channel. Oh, he turned. Going back to them. Oh, sky busting got him. There we go. That might be their first bird down too. One and one. Whoever wins, whoever loses, buying beer. I'll show up with my butt out there. I should have brought Judge or Fred. My first bird down. There we go. Better hunt today. I got 16 decoys out. There we go. There we go. Good old, good old teal. Look at that. Look at that, would you? Bunch of birds. Bunch of birds? Yeah. Oh, shoot. I knew it happened. I knew it. Yeah. He was freaking cupped up hard. Yep. Come back. Come back. I know I should have brought a duck call. Out front coming right at us on the right here. See him? Let him in there. Let him in there, boys. Shoot him. There we go. Two birds down. We got to be doing better than them. You know? Old competition never hurt nobody. A little bit of competition never hurt nobody. There we go. Ooh. Old duck commander. Brand new. I don't know if I can do a teal call. <laughs> Something like that. Yes. That's hard. Huh? I'm not used to doing the old teal call. <laughs> I can mallard call like a some gun. If they deke on this first pass, we'll shoot them up. Nope. Give them up and get, let them go. Come on. Do what you do, boys. Do what you do. Turn around. Turn around. They're coming from that same line every single time. They were coming hot. Yeah. They usually come back to us, though. Three there. Out front. Oh, they're bombing on. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Come okay. Go a little longer, boys. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's a big group of teal. Yep. Those are some moving birds. They were high coming in. Yeah, human hot. <laughs> God, them rail get me every time. They cup up. They look like yep. you know when they bow them wings down. Then they skim the decoys. <laughs> oh, that's way better than mine. Oh. Where you at? There they are. Oh, on the left. Oh, sky busters, and they one. get one. Two. Two. Dang. Wow. To the moon, boys. Well, take what you can get, I guess. Yeah. We might have to start doing the same thing. They buzz <laughs> us. That's right there. Oh, the other two. No, that's real birds. That's snipe. Snipe? Maybe. What's the, 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 so does rail or snipe have the longer beak? I don't know. <laughs> I, thought it, I thought it was the snipe that had the longer beak, but maybe they both do. That's kind of what I thought. I am not educated on them birds. I'll, I will admit that right now. <laughs> Don't worry, it's plugged. He's pulling the old P Diddy. Remember P Diddy a couple years ago when he had an extension tube longer than the end of his barrel, but it had a five foot plug in it? Yeah. <laughs> She's tricked out and ready to go though. Let me know if you see something. Okay. Oh, 
crouch down and cover my head. All right, bird number two. Hopefully no birds show up with my butt out here again. Same spot. There we go. Blue wing. I knew it every damn time, man. I didn't see shit. <laughs> every time I try to go get a dang bird. Well, it is sitting at 7.50, pretty much. Seems like every single morning, every year I've hunted this place, 8 o'clock, 8.30 is the time. The wind just switched out of the north. I'm gonna turn these around for a north wind. It was south a minute ago, now it's picking up from the north, that's good. There we go. 16 decoys, that's it. This is my little public spread that I use all the time. Move some decoys. Yellow. How many you guys got down? Two. That's it? Yep. <laughs> the, um, we had a really big flock come in real early and Man, we let them spin out front. They all decoyed on the mojos, and I had a, I still had a shell sideways in my bolt, and uh, we didn't hit a darn one of them. There's a group of 20 all the way in there. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. What time, you got a game or something, don't you, today? No, you no, I'm game? good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I right, can just, stay later. Just let us know when you guys are done. 10-4. All right, thanks. Yep, bye. Well, it is 9 o'clock, and I think we're going to call it there. Not as much action as we wanted, but I definitely messed up. Messed up big this morning. Gosh darn. That is not like me. At all. But poop happens. Poop happens when you're having fun. That blind is sweet. Good morning. That's a good morning. We're starting to get some push of teal. The cranes are coming into uh, we the western fly line, basically. When the cranes come, the teal should too. Well, that's all she wrote. Get her out of here. Absolutely gorgeous. Boy, howdy. <laughs> Am I kicking myself in the butt for that mistake this morning? Um, I was being safe. I was being safe uh, right before shooting light, about five minutes, ten, five minutes before I went ahead and put two shells in the bottom uh, in my tube, and then uh, I put one sideways in my bolt, so it was safe and I'll be darn if five minutes after um, <laughs> after shooting light started here comes a flock of 20 I hope that the shot cam caught it I think it did well I guess we'll see or you guys already know now I don't let me know if you like the shot cam silencer combo I do um, <clears throat> all that weight out there I'm pretty used to I was already used to having the shot cam on and a tube for pigeon or snow geese and now with the silencer on there it does extend a lot farther than a tube does and with the shot cam it is moderately heavy the good thing about the uh, silencer it's light it's extremely light I th I'm pretty sure it's actually the lightest shotgun silencer on the market and the quietest by the way but uh, I should have shot my limit I should have I should have probably had two birds out of that big flock uh, I, sh I should have had four or five let's put it that way limit six this is what I shot today I don't know if the shot cam got the old collar dove on film but I smoked him landed in the water looks like absolute bad you know 
two blue, blue wings two good looking blue wings um and then a lot of you have been asking what i've been using for till and what i like to use bismuth so three inch bismuth five shot that's an ounce and three eighths right there i absolutely love five shot bismuth for ducks i even have some two and three quarter uh yeah two and three quarter four or five shot and dude i almost like it better because it doesn't kick as hard and <clears throat> that bismuth is so heavy it just plows them over so with the silencer and all it is choked at an improved cylinder so i like to put a hot load in there uh because you all know me all all these years all i ever ran was a full choke so not having that full choke uh, made it up with the silencer i go to a higher brass um with a little more bang so it works it works really good i know i showed you guys a couple videos ago but that bad boy right there turtle box oh man check this clip out real quick i bet you're warm fully waterproof yeah no i feel the walking very feel loud right yeah. sounds amazing <laughs> The hip waders, dude. That's no, the it's, it's, yeah. You can't hear anything else. Oh. Oh, we're shooting. We're shooting. I can leave it out there all day yeah. like that. Yes, it floats, fully submersible, Bluetooth, indestructible speaker. This bad boy is loud and proud. The, the highs are high and the bass sounds amazing. It's a little six by nine in there waterproof and it absolutely thumps built-in lithium battery rechargeable fully waterproof they've ran these things over with trucks um left them in the water forever i mean i think they're good to stay in the water for up to like 12 hours or something while playing so you're floating down the river tow this thing behind you like a cooler she'll keep jamming guys turtleboxaudio.com it will be linked down below in the description use code bob at checkout you will save some really good money and i've had some people comment about the quick coils the motion decoy system using code bob and it only taken off a penny that's yes that's correct you don't actually save money using code bob you get a free primo hat it's a sweet like leather canvas hat so it's worth 35 bucks value uh, but all of the brands down in the description guys go check them out uh, they are partners of the channel and they do help me uh, i will say though turtle box this thing uh, the warranty is insane um, if you've went through bluetooth speakers on the boat hunting dove hunting mudding camping whatever fishing get you a turtle box you won't replace it i promise you they are worth every penny especially when you save some money using code bob so i was uh i was really wanting to do a catch clean cook on this video i really thought it would happen seen a lot more birds uh than the last last week out there i think we're going to go try it midweek um they should be moving in we have cranes starting to show up over at cheyenne bottoms and quivira so you know what that means the teal and uh, the pintail and all that jazz should be coming with it uh it is a north wind it started about two hours ago. I'm loving that. So we should have some teal moving in. If you've been hunting Kansas public, you don't have to tell me where. You don't have to tell me where it is, but just let me know how you're doing. If you're north of me, west of me, whatever, south of me. I know uh, Texas, they already got a lot of their teal. They passed through about two weeks ago. So we're waiting on the next push. I think it's almost here. But like always, I had a great time hunting with two new guys, two older guys. Uh, Big shout out to them for getting in the blind with me. I didn't know the plan today. Uh, whenever I go out to that particular marsh, I just show up. I don't take a dog because I know Chalk, the owner, is going to have his dog. So if I'm hunting with him in the blind, we already have one. But we did split up into two groups, and I should have took in Judge or Fred. Uh, I just didn't know any better. I, I, I like to just be respectful and, and just bring my gun and and uh, my lower back to, to put in the work. So... I hope you guys are getting out there having a good time. It seems like this till season is a little slower than normal um, than the last two, three years for sure. So hopefully we get a bunch before our till season close because I think, what do we have, like a week left? Right out of week, I believe. Yeah, old Bob.
we're gonna have to get it done. I'm gonna go do some walk in public this week. We're gonna go back to that private march this week. Try to get us a lemon in the bag. Feels like it's been a while. But at the end of every video, I like to give you guys some tips, whether it's what I learned today hunting, something that I brought home, safety, something happened uh, that I think that I need to share with you guys. And today, uh, um, I, it's something that we all learn at the very beginning. Uh, so number one, uh, when one of the older guys got in, I seen he had a tube on his gun. And before I filmed or anything, uh, I wasn't being rude, you know, like I didn't believe him. Uh, but I was like, hey, uh, good looking extension tube, but is that plugged? He was like, oh yeah, it's plugged. I was like, well, why do you like to leave it on? He was like, I just like the weight of it, Bob. I, I like it. It feels more centered and my it doesn't kick as much. He was like, I, I like running three and a halfs a bunch <laughs> and it doesn't kick as much. And I'm like, hey, that's a good point, you know. But number one thing, make sure you're legal. Make sure everybody you're hunting with has all their licensing, has a plug in, is shooting steel shot. Guys, don't be shooting birds that you're not supposed to just because you're bored and the hunt's slow, okay? I've been young too one, back in the day, but guys, don't do it. Don't do that. Do not shoot any type of bird, uh, even if it's like, well, it's a blackbird and there's millions of them. No, they're probably protected. I would guarantee you, unless it's a starling or a dove, you can't do that, guys. It's not worth it. If you're that thirsty, bloodthirsty to squeeze your trigger, go shoot some clays. You know what I'm saying? And no, that did not happen today whatsoever. But I think it's just something to pass on. It's a good thing to put in your pocket and just, and just, if you see someone goofing off in your group or, or acting like they're gonna shoot birds, it'd be like, dude, if you shoot a bird, I'm out of here. I'm not being part of this. If you shoot one of these blackbirds or swallows or anything, right? I'm, I'm not out of here. I ain't dealing with it. Don't put yourself at risk. Don't put yourself at risk and, and don't let other people put you at risk. Gotta be legal, guys. Yeah, and then the second thing I learned was uh, um, I was a little overwhelmed hunting uh, with the two new guys. Uh, I, had, I had hunted with one last year one time, but the other guy I didn't know very well. and I wanted to hit it off with him and, and uh, I knew I was gonna call a shot and everything and I just didn't have a shell in the chamber. That was like 20 teal that completely decoyed in between the spinner and the blind. And I went click, oh no. Good little tip, make sure you're ready to go when uh, shooting light hits. But I really appreciate you guys being here. Subscribe if you haven't. Uh, a lot of you have been turning on that notification bell down there and trying to get the first comment. Believe you me, uh, I appreciate it. All you guys that hit the noti bell, uh, thank you guys, hunting season's here. We're back at it, doing two to three videos minimum, probably three minimum every single week. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to see next. I really wanna do whatever you guys are wanting to see. So please take two seconds, go let me know. Thank you all for being here. I do have dates in the lodge here at Sand Hill Flyway, November through February, duck and goose hunting. Uh, Sand Hill Flyway is always linked down below. If you want to inquire about information, availability, pricing, fill out the booking form at sandhillflyways.com and yours truly will be getting a hold of you. Please, please, serious inquiries only. Minimum two, up to however many you want to bring. Let me know. But until next time. Yeah, sitting here editing. You little sucker, man. I was afraid of it. It got one clip, which wasn't even a good clip. Why didn't you work? Why didn't you work? I don't know. It worked for me on uh, some dove and pigeon hunts that I haven't uploaded yet. I have no idea. Sorry, guys. We'll try again.